Hey everyone, uh, tonight I'm going to be making uh, pasta carbonara, or specifically uh, spaghetti carbonara, which is an Italian dish, uh, specifically a uh, Roman dish that uh, consists of um, eggs, uh, pork, uh, hard cheese, and, and pasta, and black pepper. Um, traditionally, the dish is made with Pecorino Romano cheese, but I'm going to be doing a combination of Pecorino Romano and Parmigiano Reggiano, because I like that. Uh, I like the way it tastes, and um, as far as the pork goes, uh, traditionally it is made with guanciale. This is guanciale. This is, um, as you can see, it's uh, salt cured and seasoned. Um, it is a, it is pork jowl, is what it is. Um, and in a pinch, uh, you can definitely use uh, pancetta, and you can also use bacon if you really want to make some Italians mad. But anyway. Um, Let's get into how we're gonna make this. Okay, so first we wanna give uh, the guanciale a, uh, a pretty coarse dice. So we're just gonna cut into uh, the strips and then we're gonna give it a dice. My knife could definitely use some sharpening, but we'll worry about that later. And uh, when we're done with this, it's going to go into the pan, and it's going to go in the pan cold. And then we're going to render out the fat. The reason you don't want to put it in a hot pan is you don't want to sear it and keep in a lot of that fat. You really want to render it out slowly. We want as much of that fat rendered out as possible. Because that is going to lend to the, the main, uh, to basically the flavor profile of the, of the pasta. Like the, the fat is one of the most important parts other than the cheese. So then we got uh, some strips here like that. And then just to make things easy on ourselves, we're gonna divide it in half. And it's gonna give it a nice coarse chop like this. And traditionally the recipe called for about, per pound of pasta, I'd say a half pound of guanciale. This is about two thirds of a pound. But um, I like a little bit more uh, pork than the traditional recipe calls for. So, you know, do it to your taste. Guanciale is expensive, so use it sparingly if you can, or if you have to, but we're gonna use it all today. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Okay, next we need four eggs. Uh, that would be three whole eggs and one egg yolk. A uh, little trick here is I like to crack each individual egg into a smaller vessel before I add it to the larger vessel because you never know when you might have a blood egg or a stale egg or something funky going on in there. And you just want to make sure that uh, you don't spoil the whole batch. Um, you know, if you're adding them all the same vessel, the last egg could be the blood egg and then you're screwed and then you have to start all over. And, uh, oops, and a decent amount of shell on that one. That's fine, I got it. It's two. Doesn't matter if the yolks break. Got three. And then this is just for the yolk, and I just put a lot of, a lot of egg white there, but that's okay. We just want the yolk for this one. There we go. And there we go. Okay, next, we are going to get a scale out here, and we are going to grate up about four ounces of cheese. I'm going to do two ounces of Pecorino Romano, and another two ounces of Parmigiano Reggiano. Because as I said, I really like that combination. So here we go. This part's gonna take a little bit, so I'm not gonna film all of it, but you get the idea. Okay, next, we're gonna take this grated cheese and we're gonna mix it into our eggs. I'm just gonna reserve a little bit of it for a topping for later, or for garnish, topping, whatever. Um, 
good. And then we're just gonna kind of whip it with the fork until it's nice and homogenous. One thing I almost forgot is we want to season this egg and cheese mixture with a damn decent amount of black pepper. We're not going to add any salt because one, the pasta water is going to be salted, and two, these two cheeses are already very salty. You can test for salt at the end, and if we need to add any, we can add it then. We're going to mix that up, and a little bit more. And I think we're golden. Yeah, that's good. All right, now we got the guanciale on medium heat, and we're just gonna slowly render out the fat. Then once all the fat's rendered and these are pretty good and crispy, we're gonna kill the heat. And we're gonna let it rest, and uh, then when we, add, we can add our cooked pasta in. Look at all that glorious fat we're rendering out of these guys. What do you think, Liz? I just sulfated. It smells really good in here. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're getting there. Not quite done. I want these to have almost like a chicharron-like texture. Like, nice and crispy on the outside with a good tender bite on the inside. But yeah, they got a little bit to go. All right, y'all, this is right about where I want it to be. There's plenty of fat rendered out. So now we're gonna kill the heat. Sorry, I'm looking at this through the camera, so it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. There we go. Kill the heat on that. And we're immediately going to turn on the heat to the pasta water. By the time the pasta uh, water is boiling and we add it and it's cooked, this will be cooled down. Uh, to the point where we can add the pasta to it and then it won't uh, and then we'll be at our egg mixture Which is over there. It won't scramble the eggs because we want we want this almost room temperature All right, see you soon Okay, the pasta water is good and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and add our spaghetti now and uh, Do yourself a favor folks spend the extra money on some decent pasta the stuff that's 99 cents a package ain't worth it get the good Bronze die cut pasta, it has a rough texture. Sauce will actually cling to it. Every day I'm burbling. Okay. Okay, the pasta is al dente, and um, I had a sneaking uh, suspicion that the uh, pan wasn't gonna be big enough to hold all this pasta and the guanciale and everything else. So I moved it to a bowl, and we're gonna just literally just do all the pasta right on top of the guanciale. Guanciale is nice and room temperature. We have all of it here. It's fine if some pasta water piggybacks in here. We're going to eat some of it. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Now, it's going to give us a good toss. We're going to want to get it emulsified. That guanciale fat. Toss the water and the guanciale fat. Okay. At this point, the recipe it all comes together very quickly. We are pretty good right there. It's already becoming creamy. There's not really any streaks of fat. Okay, now we're going to add our egg mixture. And this pretty much will complete the dish. So, it goes in all at once. We gotta work quick here. There we are. And we're gonna keep that bigger stirring. Very quickly. Very quickly. The residual heat of the pasta will cook the eggs, but it won't scramble them. Also, while we cut the heat, on the 
of one chalet early. And what you're seeing right now is essentially the finished dish. All right, and to plate this some bitch, first we're gonna take a nice fork in this guy here. A nice twirl. We need a whole bunch of it on there. Just like that. This is a traditional plate for this kind of pasta. I'm gonna set it right down. And then I'm gonna use these tongs here. Just kind of slide it out. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna go back in the bowl here and I'm gonna fish out some tasty bits. Tasty bits. These are the tasty bits. They're the meaty bits. Anybody ever seen Bad Taste? Peter Jackson, come on. Give me some meaty bits. I, had, I thought I had something in that one, but I didn't. Um, here we go. Now you can back up a little bit so you get a good pick there. I'm actually very pleased with my plating just now. That was actually like exactly like what I was hoping for. It actually turned out perfect. So I'm just gonna get some extra little nuggies on there. And uh, just for funsies, need a little tiny extra dusting of cracked black pepper here. Just a little bit. And then. Dusting of uh, our cheese blend over the top. Looking pretty good. All right. Exactly what I was hoping for. All right, hun. Give it a taste. Okay. Hang on, it's twisty. It is a bit twisty. I just salvated it again. Okay, I think I can control that amount of uh, noodle. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm.